My views on marriage is I agree with the God of the Bible. Uh, I did not create the institution. The God of the Bible did. It was his very first institution. When he brought Eve to Adam, Adam looked at Eve and said, now this is flesh of my flesh and bone of my bone. And she shall be called woman because she was taken from the man. Then Moses wrote a personal commentary led by the Holy Spirit and said this, Moses says, for this cause shall a man leave his mother and father and cleave to his wife and they too shall be one flesh. Now what is sad today is that marriage is in a sad state of affairs. Uh, the failure rate of marriage is, is much too high. And in the African-American community, uh, we are suffering uh, as like no other community uh, in our, our country. So you see, we have a tremendous set of challenges as is with regard to marriage. And we know of the benefits of marriage. We, uh, there, there are statistics that deal with how uh, the, the, the rates are high on kids who grow up in homes where there are no dads. They are much more likely to commit suicide, to commit crime, and to do things that are detrimental to themselves and to society. And, and yet, the fact remains that in the African American society, over 70% of our children today are born to families where there's no father. And, and this is having a devastating effect on our community. To add insult to injury, to have the first uh, as, the, as he is called, African-American president um, uh, to, to the 44th president of the United States to uh, make a public announcement on May the 9th endorsing that which the God of the Bible calls an abomination for him to say that he believes that same-sex marriage is the direction that the country should go in, uh, I thought was a, 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 a horrible thing, uh, an evil thing, and a deplorable thing not, for, for multiple reasons. But he knows, he said this knowing that 90 to 95 percent of African Americans, number one, disagree with same-sex marriage when, when, well, the polls show that we overwhelmingly disagree with same-sex marriage, but 90% of us or more support him. Most politicians do not take a stand against what the majority of their constituents believe. In 2012, the same man makes an announcement that adds up to saying that he now believes that dads are optional and that moms are optional. For if you believe that same-sex marriage is the direction that we should go in, then you, you also believe that dads are optional because in the lesbian uh, marriage, there's, there's not a man. Two women will never equal one man. And in a homosexual marriage, uh, two, two men will never equal a mom. The truth is, we're trying to make marriage into something that it has never been, that it and that it can never be. Marriage can never be a union between two persons of the same sex. Marriage is a union between a man and a woman. In their attempt to overturn DOMA, they want to overturn all of the states that have added constitutional protection to traditional marriage. Why would the DNC be interested in trying to destroy the one institution that is the backbone of the Western uh, uh, civilization, Western culture as we know it, the institution that have served us well, whether you're black, white, Asian, Hispanic, it doesn't matter. Every culture that have embraced marriage as the God of the Bible defined it has been served well by this powerful institution.